But in the 11th century, a new dynasty would revive the fortunes of Ethiopia's once great Christian kingdom and create one of the most spectacular of all religious sites in Africa and in the world. Lalabella, 12 extraordinary churches carved out of the living rock in the Ethiopian highlands. One of the most extraordinary architectural achievements that the world has ever seen. The churches were built during the Zagwe dynasty, which arose from the ashes of Aksum, reviving the Red Sea trade routes in Christian Ethiopia. Built before many of the great cathedrals of Europe, they are an astonishing feat of construction, design, and imagination. Being able to see this church buried in this block of stone, it's a bit like Michelangelo seeing David buried in that block of marble. The most celebrated king was Lalabella. And according to legend, he was instructed by God to build a new Jerusalem in Ethiopia. According to the saint's biography of King Lalibela, it was said that he had a vision. And during that vision, he made a pact with God. God told him that if you build these churches I'm showing you, I will make you king. Angels were said to have transmitted the plans to him and to have assisted him night and day as he dug for 24 years to build all of these churches. Lalibela is one of the very few Ethiopian kings who has ever made a saint. King Lalibela built these extraordinary cathedrals. They had literature, they had all sorts of things that were happening during that period. So it was clearly a very vibrant time. Carved in the shape of a cross, the Church of St. George is the most celebrated of all the magnificent buildings in Lalabella's sacred complex. But deeper within this complex is a church that contains replicas of the tombs of Christ and Adam and is considered the holiest part of Lalabella. It's the Church of Beta Golgotha. <laughs> 